you. What's going on, guys? Uh, you got Chris Chalma talking through the medias. We are going to do an episode of We Got Your Mail. As Chris has explained, uh, sometimes people will misspell things and we get your mail, but fortunately, we will answer your mail. And uh, what uh, I think this one was kind of ironic, Chris. What was it? What was the first line in this? In this? In this question? This first question. Chris is on the line. He's in my inner narrative. Chris, fire away. What was the name of this? This first line. Well, we got an email from a young punk named Dave. No. <laughs> yeah. my, my Morgan Freeman. <laughs> And in the universe, sometimes somebody will send an email to the wrong carrier, and we will answer it right now. His name was Andy Dufresne. (laughs) Right? (laughs) All right, let's see. This is, oh, sorry, that's spam. Let's go to the actual question. So we have two questions here. Well, uh, David, uh, he writes in and says, there is no way this question doesn't make it on Movie Talk or Jedi Council. I'm sure that's true <laughs> because we got your mail. <laughs> so Chris, <laughs> it's completely yeah. true. He's um, 100, he, you know what? This guy is a soothsayer. He predicted the future. There is no way because there is no it. way. <laughs> so, so we Chris, got Chris is our is our, our I would say our local expert on Star Wars. So read the question. Then I, I my I'm sorry, guys. My Star Wars. Material the force not, is not so, strong. Yeah, the force time. is not strong with me with the Star Wars. So read it and then give your theory on this because I know this is a Star Wars question, Chris. Can any of you guys ask one of your contacts if at least any theory or fan theories about Snoke or Episode Eight are true? With no giveaways other than that, yes, or someone nailed it. So he wants to know about the theories that are going around about uh, Snoke, which was the big bad on uh, Episode Seven. I've heard a bunch of theories about uh, Snoke, whether or not he was a uh, once a Jedi, if 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 he is um, a a character that is currently on the cartoon uh, series, uh, uh, Star Wars Rebels, and I can tell you right now, breaking news. Uh oh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Nothing has been confirmed. Yeah, never would have guessed. I got no fucking clue. Does it look like I work? Oh, all right, so Lucas? guys. I, the, like like Chris says, the force is not my my Star Wars force is not strong. Um, so who is is that the the old looking? He looked different than the Emperor, but kind of looked like the yeah, the, guy, yeah the, like the, the equivalent of the Emperor, the guy the, with the big scar on his face. Uh, like okay, that. yeah, yeah. So there the are theories actually, was that it, that he got hurt like that because he was a part of uh, uh, Order sixty six. Maybe he was one of the the Jedi's that was attacked, betrayed somebody, one of the rebels that got. Uh, I don't, you know. And then he turned to the dark side, and now he's like messing with the Skywalkers again. Who knows? I mean. There's a bunch of theories out there. He could be the emperor uh, reincarnated. There's a there's too many theories out there. And, and and to be honest, if I did have a contact, I'll, I'll tell you this right now. If if I was inside the loop with these Lucas guys and whatnot, and if I had a contact and he told me something, I wouldn't say it. I wouldn't tell you at all oh, because no, you're getting some deep shit. <laughs> you would get in trouble. Then I would, I would lose his trust, and yeah. and he would never share that information. Nobody would ever trust us ever again with that stuff. So no, I wouldn't it, tell you. He kind of reminded me of Gollum. You know, yeah. like he just he kind of looked like the dude from the Lord of the Rings to me. Uh, yeah, it also reminded me of the big bad in Underworld before he, uh, uh, when he woke him up, when she woke him up out of, uh, from his sleep. Oh, yeah, they were all like, <laughs> yeah, they looked funny, <laughs> like they were all, uh, their muscles were all atrophied and they were kind of gooey looking, yeah. yeah. All right, so, but what's the second question? What's the other question we got? All right, we got the last question, the next and last question we got, uh, okay, it says, <clears throat> <clears throat> this is from... Chris Yoder and Chris S. His name is Yoder. All Yoder. Right. Chris Yoder. All right. Yes. You've become such a big part of my daily routine on Jedi Council. Is another Jedi Council question. Uh, Jedi Council is the highest highlight of my week. Hey, it's so it, it, it is to me too. All right. There are so many great sci-fi movies from my childhood: Logan's Run, The, the Last Starfighter, the Starman, etc. Starfighter. Oh, Any shit. of which could be candidates for a makeover or reboot. I'm absolutely dying for a remake of They Live. The story is so oh. deep, and I love the way John Carpenter was able to present the idea with Roddy Piper and Keith David. I love to see that story redone with today's CG technology. What other films from the 70s, 80s, or 90s do you think 
would benefit from a technological remake slash reboot? So interested to hear you, uh, your take on this question. Thanks for making my day go smooth. Do you, do you remember the John Carpenter one? I remember bits and pieces of this movie. Uh, which John Carpenter movie? You were talking All about right, Daylight? So, so, yeah, so when they put on the sunglasses or these glasses, they see they look like skeleton creatures. Yeah, yeah Roddy Piper, I remember yeah, that Do you one. remember his famous line in that movie? Uh, 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 bubble gum and kick yeah, I'm ass. here to kick ass and chew bubble gum, and I'm all out of gum. Or I, I think he says it the reverse. I'm here to yeah, I'm here to kick, gum and ass kick ass, and ass chew bubble gum, and I'm <laughs> all out of gum. <laughs> Duke Nukem ripped him off. You can hear that line in the Duke Nukem games. So the question goes to which which um, other movies from the 70s, 80s, or 90s do you think is uh, set up for, good for a reboot? Other than uh, Power Rangers, since that's already in the works. The Blob. The Blob, that's a good yeah. one. Yeah, I mean, why not? I love that 80s remake version of it. It was gory as shit, creepy. It's simple. It can be stupid. Um, I would love to see them remake. I mean, it's not the 80s. I believe it's the 90s. Or maybe it was the end of the... I would love to see them redo It, Stephen King's It. Well, they are doing that. That's already coming out. Oh, is it? All right. Shit. Um, yeah, that's a, it's going to be a two-parter. Uh, one half of it is uh, when they're kids, and the second half is when they're adults, but they're splitting it into two movies. You know what, another, and I think we've talked about this movie before, another Stephen King short story called Sometimes They Come Back. Never, yeah, I've never seen that one, yeah. Oh, you've never seen it? Okay. Well, you got to watch the trailer. It's, 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 I mean, it's kind of probably a goofy movie now, but if you watch the, if you guys watch the trailer for Sometimes They Come Back, yeah, uh, it's, it's pretty good. So, so you got another one, another 80s, 90s, 70s movie that you want to see remade, Chris? Um... I had it a second ago, and then when I started thinking about it, that it just oh, just um, the flight, uh, flight of the navigator. Yes, I see yes, that. yes, yes. I love I that fucking that one. <laughs> Is it it? Too many Twinkies. I love, I love that shit. But as long as they get him back to play the voice of the of the ship, yeah, yeah. yeah Paul, Paul, <laughs> Ruben. He's like, hey, it's Big Al. Oink, oink, too many Twinkies. <laughs> That was good, that was a good one. What, what else? What, what from the nineties do I think should be remade? Uh, I, can't, oh, I can't think of anything off off the bat. Uh, you know, you know, I don't know why I keep thinking about this movie, but I felt like for some reason, Tango and Cash could be that redone. Was, you could have the movie. Rock, yeah, that's the Rock true. And, uh, and, yeah. and who else would it be? And, and I would have said Vin Diesel, but that's already happening in Fast and the Furious. <laughs> Actually. The Rock and Vin Diesel as Tango and Cash. Yeah, I can see that happen. I can yeah. see that happening. Yeah, that'd be cool. Or Jason Statham. <laughs> I I think I'd rather see Vin Diesel and The Rock together because I don't think yeah. they've ever. Yeah, Tango I mean, I know they've done movies long, together, but not like as long as The Rock is playing Kurt Russell's uh, character. And yeah, he puts <laughs> a dress on. You make it. You remember? When he, oh, you probably can't see it. He, he uh, he's sitting on the back of the motorcycle and he and he pushes his sunglasses up. He's wearing a fucking dress. That's so how they escape. That shit oh, was yeah. good. And from the another one from the eighties, I don't know why I want to see a remake of Clue. I want to see an updated version of Clue with all these with modern uh, uh, with these modern comedians that be trapped in a house. They got to figure some crap out. Uh, murder mystery. I don't know why. For that some was, reason, I want I want was, Clue to come back. Yeah, that was a really good movie. I remember. I just remember um, towards the end when the butler he starts going, and then he did it, and they start like running from room to room to room, and he's mm. explaining it, and then it turns out that he's the one that fucking did it. Yeah, spoilers. But yeah, that's I can't wait to. Uh, I hope they they because uh, I know all those other board game movies never uh, really panned out like Battleship. No, uh, I Is heard they spent a fortune on that movie too. Oh yeah, lost one too. <laughs> I think I would I would be really excited about the Flight of the Navigator though, because that was one of my all time all time all time favorite movies as a kid. I mean, like, oh. yeah, mo you know me, movies with where kids are the heroes. Man, I love those adventures. Well, guys, if you have a movie from the whenever generation that you really are dying to see that get remade with the modern effects and hopefully a better script, doubtful, <laughs> but we can hope, uh, let us know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm hopeful now that I, I, uh, I've heard what Chris has said. I've read a bunch on my own. I'm excited. I'm going to go in there with an open mind. I, I mean... Yeah, go check it know. out, man. It's pretty cool. I, I, wanna, I do want to watch it. I do want to watch it. Before you know, we'll have a double dragon movie. Who knows? Um, oh, yeah. Leave it in the comments box. Let us know what you think. Because a lot of these, when we're on the spot and we're like, so 
name a movie that you want to be remade because uh, we do a lot of this improv. We don't some of the ones are scripted, but a lot of this stuff is off the cuff. Just name something, and it's really hard when you're under pressure trying to name something. But guys, let us know what you think because I, honestly, I want to hear it. Chris does too. Um, any closing comments, Chris? Uh, as like I always, uh, I'm gonna say from now on, just uh, hit subscribe, like, comment contest winning could be you thanks yeah yeah we got a, a man a lot faster than i thought originally guys uh we're going to be giving away a playstation 4 or an xbox one uh and it's coming a lot faster than we thought so if you have not go ahead click subscribe to be eligible for these giveaways you do have to either right before you um uh click and subscribe leave us a comment whatever say hey i want to go in the contest or if you already are by the time this video is made you are already in the drawing um meantime keep watching the movies playing the games killing the noobs peace